I'm Paul Kozell. I'm the director of the Sonic Art Center. And today there is going to be a reading uh, for string quartet and for brass trio for students in the instrumentation and arranging class, which is a Sonic Art Center uh, required class. Each student does an arrangement of the same song. The string quartet song is Eileen Morgan's Standing Next to You. And the song for brass trio was sort of a funk chart. For the string reading, uh, we had Eric Bartlett, cellist with the New York Philharmonic, who sat with the arrangers and would comment on the arrangements and also work with the string players during the reading session. Eric and I have been talking about getting our students together, the students that he works with at Juilliard and the students that I have here at the Sonic Art Center. I, I think we both agreed that this was a very successful collaboration. It was really great for me to step aside and for the students to just deal directly with Eric and the string quartet. I was just really taken aback by the, the musicians and just how brilliant they were really made it worth it to have musicians of that caliber playing our music really showed kind of what the professional world could be like. One of the things that the students were most surprised about was how much music, how much emotion, how much feeling the players actually brought into that musical experience. After hearing somebody actually perform and play it with passion and with feeling and you know just there's just nothing like it like it just it could never compare to anything else every time that you compose something on midi and then all of a sudden it gets in front of real performers and then you just have this uh experience of yes this is really what it is supposed to sound like it made it much more meaningful that the songwriter was there. And I think it just really moved her to be able to have 16 students write out a string arrangement. One of the things that we tried to do during the session was to get the students to interact with the players, to bring their, their parts down, to give them to the players, to introduce themselves to the players to sort of emphasize that human connection, that human element. You know, we spend so much time in these studios working on perfecting every little thing that we tend to forget at times that this is a human endeavor to communicate. I think by introducing ourselves, it made it a little less awkward and a little more of a friendly learning environment. We were really able to give them a valuable experience of touching the real world and realizing that, hey, I can do this. I can do this. This is not someplace off in the distance. This is actually someplace that's quite close and it's quite reachable. Arranging is totally different skill set than composing. You sort of have to check your ego a little bit and just do what's best for the song. And, and to me, that, that gives a sense of the professional arranging environment where, you know, uh, it's the song is bigger than the arranger. Personally, it really did change my life. Like, I never thought that I would feel what I felt. I, it's hard to, like, explain, but just seeing in a public forum somebody perform something that you wrote that you don't know, like, professionally just comes over and just picks it up and plays it. There's, like, no other high like it. It's just so fulfilling. <laughs> 